Okay guys, I'm in Amsterdam and it's freezing cold over here. As you can see, I have a hat. And today I want to give you two tips that will help you kill all your interviews, okay? I know that a lot of people have issues with interviewing and for some it's very easy to actually build that portfolio, build up the skills and have something to show and you're not afraid of applying and putting yourself out there. But for some reason you are failing the interviews, okay? And in this video, I want to give you two tips, as I mentioned, that will help you absolutely crush that interview. So the first one is greasing the groove. Greasing the groove means doing something repeatedly at a very low effort, okay? So that means instead of cramming interview questions in literally your last month or when you're about to have an interview, you start prepping for the interview from today, okay? When you have like six months in front of you of actual you know, skill building work that you have to put in. So let's say you start every day by researching one question. Like for example, what is the difference between varlet and const? And this question is always being, you know, thrown in the interviews and people with five years of experience don't know how to answer it, okay? So prep basic questions just like this and you can just really Google like the top 10 interview questions for JavaScript. Start with that. Then you can use an app called Brainscape, which is like a flashcard app. And you put in your questions, you put your research in, and then you start prepping five, 10, 15 minutes a day. When you have some downtime, uh, you do that. And then in no time, you'll be really good at them. Here, I would also add another tip. When you research the answer for that specific question, try to throw in an example of when you actually use this specific thing that you are prepping, okay? So this is the first tip, greasing the groove, training for interviews before you actually have interviews, okay? And the second thing is to walk a mile in someone else's shoes. What does that mean? Well, you know that saying like, hey, don't judge anyone before you walk a mile in their shoes. That's fair, probably you heard that. If not, there's news flash for you, okay? But we know that we need to deal with hiring managers, we need to deal with recruiters and software developers that will actually, you know, interview you, okay? So what I'm gonna ask you to do is to research what it means to be a tech recruiter, what it means to be a hiring manager, what it means to interview another software engineer, right? Because if we go out there and look for what these people are consuming because there are influencers just like me in the tech recruitment space, okay? And then they give uh, tips there. So you learn from those tips and then you apply them to you and you become that ideal candidate that these recruiters are looking for. Then you do the same for hiring managers. Then you do the same for like software developers that are looking to learn how to interview other software developers for a specific role. So you do that and then you become extra, extra smart, okay? I just figured this out like a couple of days ago when I was dealing with a student that was asking, hey, what should I do in the interview, etc., etc. And this is what I came up with. Of course, it's, this is not, you know, perfect science, but this is a tip that's very different than what everyone else is going to tell you to do. Okay, so interviewing is not impossible. It's definitely doable, but you just have to be smart about it and you have to treat it seriously. If you treat it seriously and if you learn how to sell yourself, if you have good projects, good skills, a good personality, if you're a funny guy or a girl, charismatic, all this stuff, boom, it's gonna end up with you making a lot of money, working remotely, coming to Amsterdam, coming to the Red List District, smoking some weed, banging some chicks. That's it. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye.